Hi Cancer, this is your bonus uh, tarot reading for this month. Uh, we'll have three separate spreads in this bonus reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at what you urgently need to know right now and it could be about pretty much anything. Work, business, family, trips, love, whatever comes up. Then in the second spread we'll take a look at the advice for the situation that we'll see in the first spread. And uh, spread number three will be the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Cancer. So uh, let's see what you urgently need to know right now. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by Judgment. Then we have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, maybe with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or any Zodiac sign. So here's the deal. The Queen of Wands, right next to the deck, is one of the people. One of the people. And uh, I think uh, you're the other person <laughs> out of those two. It's, so it's you and the Queen of Wands. And I think you're being chosen or selected for something. Okay? And that's what you urgently need to know right now. We have three pentacle cards on the table. The Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. So I think this uh, selection, this choice, has something to do with work, business, and finances. Maybe you are up for a promotion, but perhaps this Queen of Wands is also up for that same promotion. Or maybe you're applying for a job and this Queen of Wands is applying for a job. Maybe um, you're being sent somewhere to represent the company, right? And the, perhaps this, it was between you and this, and this Queen of Wands. The good news, this is good news, <laughs> by the way, the good news is that I think you're the one who is being chosen or selected. And the Queen of Wands will, unfortunately, for them, is not going to be chosen. Because as I was clarifying the Queen of Wands, I simply asked how will uh, this person, this Queen of Wands, feel about this decision. And the Nine of Wands showed up. Yeah, they're going to be hurting. They're going to be hurting. They're not going to be happy with, the, uh, with this uh, judgment call. Speaking of judgment calls, in the middle we do have judgment, clarifying the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles could be a card of having to make a choice, having to make a selection. And again, I think this is between you and this Queen of Wands. All right, and um, in the beginning, we actually have the Two of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Cups when it comes to work, business, and finances. And I believe it is work, business, and finances spread. Uh, the Two of Cups is a card of a handshake. That's how I always interpret it. A handshake card. This is when people literally shake hands, then they sign paper work, they uh, go into partnerships, go into agreements, and all that good stuff. The Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is very similar to the Six of Pentacles that the Judgment is clarifying, right? Also a card of a choice between you and another person. And by another person I mean this Queen of Wands. Alright, so yeah, um, you know what, let's take a look at the advice spread, just in case. Here's an advice for you, Cancer, for uh, the previous spread. Um, we have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The advice for you is to take it, to accept it. And, uh, yeah, that. remember the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck? Now we have the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> and we have the Four of Pentacles, right? Um, and uh, the Ace of Swords, the first card I came out, this card often comes through as the word yes. It's a card of clarity. It's a card of a new beginning. The Knight of Pentacles is what's coming your way. The Knight of Pentacles is the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. The Four of Pentacles in this case, um, I often refer to the Four of Pentacles as a savings account card. Right? This is you accepting this Knight of Pentacles right? offer. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is holding up a pentacle? And uh, I think that's exactly the pentacle that we see in the Four of Pentacles that the person is holding on to. That means the, per the, uh, the, pentacles, the pentacle is accepted, the pentacle is received. And uh, perhaps it's going to be enough mo money for you to uh, put it into your savings account, right? Yeah? The Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of collaboration and a cooperation. It's also a card of like um, a consulting gig for some of you. It could be a teaching gig. Maybe you're being chosen to go take a class, go to school or something like that. Or maybe you're the one who is teaching. Um, or it's simply a card of collaboration, right? This is when a group of people get together and do something together. So it, it could be a card of a workplace environment or a business place environment. All right, so the advice for you is to say yes to it. You don't have to <laughs> if you don't want to, but that's, uh, that's the advice. I think it's, it's something good, something long-term, something that's going to you know, pay you accordingly and all that good stuff. All right, let's move on to spread number three real quick. 
So here's spread number three, uh, Cancer. This is the next good thing that'll happen to you that'll at least put a smile on your face. So keep in mind, Cancer, <laughs> it's supposed to put a smile on your face, and I do see you smiling. This is one strange reading. Anyway, we got the King of Swords, uh, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Will of Fortune, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Um, then we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Sun. And we have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but also fire. Here is Leo, Sagittarius. So yeah, this is one interesting reading. Okay, and uh, I almost regret clarifying that Will of Fortune. Okay, I almost regret it. But the reason why I decided to clarify it, uh, because of the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, because the Knight of Wands could be a bit of a questionable energy. And when I clarified the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords showed up. And then I clarified the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands showed up. Oh my God. I think it will still be something, something that makes you happy. <laughs> All right? it, perhaps in the beginning, it's going to be a, it's going to be based, this connection is going to be based on like a lot of physical attraction, all right. But in the in the future, the physical attraction will remain. But uh, you guys will be thinking of it as something long term, or you'll be talking long term with this person. That's how I see with all these cards together, right? So yeah, uh, the King of Swords, the first guy that came out. This is uh, somebody whom you'll be dealing with, or perhaps you're already dealing with this King of Swords. So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, it could be somebody who is very intelligent. Um, they could be like a lawyer, a doctor, somebody who is educated, or somebody who wears uniform for work. And they're clarifying, clarified by the Page of Cups. So this is them either approaching you or asking you out on a date. Um, or yeah, the Page of Cups is the nicest page out of all four pages. So do expect them to be super nice to you. Okay, then we have that Wheel of Fortune, which is clarified by that Seven of Swords. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune could be you guys literally going somewhere. Okay, literally going somewhere. Or the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a cycle between you two. But there is, there is that little problem, right? With that Seven of Swords clarifying it, and uh, also with that Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. On, on the bottom of the deck. So, but, Together, the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords, it could be talking about one particular day on one particular night, right? Say this person reaches out to you and, or they ask you out on a date, but you already have plans for that particular day or that particular night or that particular weekend. You have plans with other people. So you will probably tell those people that something came up and you can't go, you can't make it. You're going to cancel or you're going to postpone that. But in reality, you will be spending time with this King of Swords. Perhaps that's what the uh, Seven of Swords is talking about here. Because the Seven of Swords <laughs> could be, you know, it's not a very honest card. All right. <laughs> so the Seven of Swords could be what I just said. It could be you guys uh, running away for the weekend. Or perhaps there's like a taboo situation. Perhaps this King of Swords dated somebody in the past and maybe you and this person they dated in the past. Maybe you guys are like friends. All right? And perhaps uh, you will still yes to the, say yes to this person. You'll still get the show on the road with this person. But you're going to keep it under wraps. You know, you're going to keep it to yourselves in the beginning so that the other person doesn't know about it. All right? <laughs> The Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is the most passionate knight out of all four knights. Alright? This is also the most inconsistent knight out of all four knights. But uh, in this case, I think it's passion. I think it's passion. Alright? And uh, at the end, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Sun. The Ace of Pentacles, this is, uh, th this is a different game. Different, different, different ball game, right? With the Ace of Pentacles, people usually start talking commitment, serious uh, relationships, moving in together. With the Ace of Pentacles, people usually plan ahead, not just for the next few days. People start talking about serious commitment, but and it's uh, it's also clarified by the Ace of Wands, right? The Ace of Wands again, it's all about passion. <laughs> So you have both the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. And it's clarified further down by the Sun. 
You see, Cancer, I did it for you. I clarified the Ace of Pentacles twice. Something must be special about this reading. Perhaps it's your birthday season that is starting. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all of you, Cancers. Alright, so the Sun is a card of clarity and at the same time it's the happiest card in the deck. Alright, it's a major arcana card. It was the very last card that came out and it's the happiest card in the deck. So, I assume you're going to be happy about this uh, whole deal. <laughs> Alright, Cancers, so yeah, um, that's what I have for you for this reading for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Kianza, have an amazing the rest of the month.